Yeah. We got, yeah. Miss Janine. Janine DeAndre is going to come out and do her step down speech for Miss Woods Leather 2018. <laughs> Thank you. Here you go. Hi, everybody. I'd first like to start off and say this has been an amazing year. And if it wasn't for my Woods family to help me make it happen, I can't express how much it means to me that all of you have helped me. I need you all to give an applause for you. For you. Thank you. I want to thank my husband, Vince, for helping me coordinate and making all the flyers and my shot harness, which was awesome. I also I greatly appreciate all the camp unity and diversity, but we still need to work on this. We need to make it happen. We need to stay as a family and stay that way. If it wasn't for the help of our wonderful queens to make the fundraisers, events together and to create every amazing night and event, it was great. Thank you. And you all rock. I want to thank Woody and Scott and John Adams and Danny for, for, for letting us be a part of the Woods family. A big thank you to Crystal and Gloria for being there for every when I needed you. Thank you both. Thank you, Jim and Arnie, for your throughout the year to helping me. And Sam was a big and awesome help. Thank you, Dave Baker and Ramona, true friends. Indeed, love you guys. And be sil silky soap. You love that soap. And and to all my hosts, Heidi, Conchita, and Maxine. Thank you, you are awesome. And Sir James, remember, he keeps his place safe, so he does a great job at it. Give him an applause for helping out and doing his work. And in closing, thank you, thank you, thank you. I had a great year as Miss 2018, and I want to wish Mr. and Miss Woods Leather 2019 a fun year. Do not get crazy. Just have fun and you'll do a great job. Thank you all. Thank you, Janine. It was a pleasure working with you this year. Yep, you gotta give it up. Did you turn it off? There it is. It was funny because when Daddy stepped down, he wanted to make a cardboard sash, and that's what he was going to turn over. <laughs> Try to keep the other one? He was. <laughs> All right, now for his speech, uh, step-down speech, Mr. Woods Leather, Eric Bailey. You know, I think I'm more nervous tonight than what I was last year, you know, waiting for the results. Uh, but first of all, I really have to thank, um, and we all have to thank uh, Woody and the owners of the Woods Campground for allowing us to have our leather community and our family that we have here, our chosen family. Um, so that's first and foremost that I want to uh, bring that up. Um, you know, if it wasn't for Arnie, Jim, and Chuck, this would not happen. Our leather weekends wouldn't happen. They put a lot of work into this that most people don't see what it is and, and, and we come every week or every leather weekend and we have a good time and uh, we just really need to remember to thank them for that. And of course, the most important person that I have to thank tonight is Tom, my husband. Uh, he's been my biggest supporter. Um, and a lot of things and a lot of the crazy shit I've done over the years. Um, so, um, thank you. I appreciate it, babe. So, you know, after becoming, way before I became Mr. Woods, um, I started forging a lot of relationships here at the Woods. But since last year, I've forged way deeper relationships here at the Woods and all around. So, um, and if I didn't mention David Baker. He is probably the catalyst for me being here right now. Yeah, and you. <laughs> 
so when I first started coming to the woods, he was Mr. Woods Leather, and I really looked up to him. And, um, so also, what we didn't mention earlier, he does have additional funds to go into the Memorial uh, uh, Grow Fund. So uh, thank you, uh, uh, David. So, you know, let me get to what I've been doing this year. <laughs> so um, over the past year, I've had the pleasure to promote the woods um, all over the country, um, from New York down to D.C., um, and all the way out to Las Vegas um, and um, to Tampa. So I traveled over 4,400 miles promoting the woods. Um, and I have to say that um, one of the most exciting things that I did whenever we were out in, um, in Las Vegas was the Women of Drummer. Um, so, you know, and having them here uh, is a really good thing. I think it promotes a lot of diversity within the campground, and, and we really appreciate it. And not only that, having met Voss, um, the first woman a drummer, uh, is a real big honor. So thank you. <laughs> My time is up, sorry. Um, so, you know, the AIDS Fund, that's a really uh, one of my um, dear, near and dear things that I've done over the years. I've started working with AIDS and HIV uh, organizations since 1990. Um, so I want to continue doing that, uh, you know, until I can. Um, but one of the biggest things that I was able to do this year is when we chose Valley Youth House as our organization, I became really good friends with the director of Valley Youth House and they named me as part of the executive committee for a big uh, event that happened last year. It was their biggest event, um, setting the stage with Elton John, where we raised, collectively as a committee, over $330,000. So, um, so beyond what I've done here, that's also what I've, and that's been keeping me quite busy. So uh, now we're off to the next one. But one of the things that really pulled me to Valley Youth House is about 40% of the kids that they touch base with are LGBT. And kids these days, they feel that we can get married so I can come out young. No, that's not the case. They're getting thrown out. So I would encourage you guys to whatever, whatever you can do, Valley Youth House or whatever, we need to support our young uh, kids because they need our help. Way more now than what they ever have. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there. <laughs> um, it's a really important organization. And uh, uh, Christina and I, the director, we have some uh, additional things planned uh, in the future. So geared toward LGBT. So I'll close my book. Somebody said I had a lot of pages. I did, but you know they're little tiny pages. So as I take this sash off, um, you know, I, all I can say, hopefully I don't cry. <laughs> Stop looking at me. Um, you know, it's been a huge honor to be uh, Mr. Woods Leather 2018, and um, I look forward to uh, supporting Mr. and Ms. Woods uh, 2019. Um, and, um, you know, I think they can hear me back there, but, you know, come see me if you need any help. I'm there for you. Thanks, everybody. I really appreciate it. I love you guys. Thank you, Eric. Oh. Oh. All right. We're gonna have to go up to the front of the stage. The I have to. We'll have the results. Oh, is that where we get it? But first, yeah. we gotta bring them out, right? Or do we get the results first? We want to get the results and bring oh. them out. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. I feel so excited. It's like the Emmys. With an envelope. All right, I'm not opening it yet, though. Okay, thank you, Arnie, for all of your help putting this together. You and Daddy Jim have worked tirelessly, and, and you've been a great co-host and producer. Thank you. Thank uh, you. I appreciate you being here. Awesome. And remember the dungeon party afterwards, yeah. and it's going to be opening now by the Bucks MC. Yeah.